The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Judean elites do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile. But the things that come from out are what defile For what is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
here we are on Sunday morning in an Episcopal church built on tradition. In the middle of a church leadership transition, in the middle of an extended pandemic, and God is alive and well. What Jesus came to say is it's not about that 5%. It's not about what you put into your mouth. It's about what comes from the heart. What comes from the human person. As I was driving in this morning, one of my favorite songs came on. What About Us by Pink. What About Us. Searching for love. Needing to trust. Seeking that authentic faith. God alive and well. Right after, near, about a few months after that conversation I overheard in that yoga studio, I started a nonprofit called Faith Studio. And the idea was to get a food truck, and instead of asking people to come into church, going out into community and offering prayer practices. Visual, vigils. We showed up in the AIDS Memorial Grove the day after Sandy Hook and held a vigil. When we get too tied to our traditions, they can be the distraction from where is God. Now don't get me wrong, we are going back into the sanctuary in a couple weeks. <laughs> but I invite us to go back with fresh eyes. What is it about this place and these people that remind me that the Holy Spirit is alive and well? Nothing is stagnant here, but God is calling us to evolve, and to learn from one another, to listen for more deeply. Many of us in the last 18 months have had moments of, well, I can't get that done. I can't wash my hands over there. And what Jesus says is come back to the heart. It's not about what you produce. It's not about how many hours you clocked in today, but how awake you are. And maybe you needed to take a nap to make that happen. And that is part of it. May we engage each other and listen and be awake and alive and practice our faith together. May we remind each other and ourselves what is rooted in our hearts and how what is rooted gets to grow. Amen.